smart contracts are not just a technical invention. They represent a global change in how the world builds trust. For decades, agreements depended on people, their decisions, their timing, their honesty. But today, we are entering a new era where technology itself can verify, execute, and protect the promises we rely on. In this video, we'll explore the real story of smart contracts, where they came from, how they work, and why they are becoming a key foundation of the next financial era, both globally and here in Europe. In 1994, an American cryptographer named Nick Szabo introduced a simple but revolutionary idea. What if agreements could execute themselves without depending on human decisions? To help people understand this concept, Szabo used a very familiar example, the vending machine, a system where the rule is clear. Insert money, get the product. No money, no product. No delays, no misunderstandings, no human mistakes. This was the first real model of what we now call a smart contract. A vending machine works exactly like a basic smart contract. You put money in, the machine checks the amount, and if everything is correct, it automatically gives you the product. If the condition is not met, nothing happens, and the machine will never change its mind. There is no negotiation, no waiting for approval, no human error. It simply follows one rule. If the requirement is fulfilled, the action is executed. This simple logic became the foundation of the modern smart contract, a system that carries out an agreement automatically and reliably. In 2009, something extraordinary happened. Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin, the first global, transparent, and immutable digital ledger. For the first time, the world had a system where information could be recorded in a way that could not be erased, manipulated, or altered by anyone. But Bitcoin had one limitation. It was designed only for transferring value. It was not built for running programs or executing complex conditions. Bitcoin handled money, not logic. The world was still waiting for the next major step. In 2015, a young visionary named Vitalik Buterin introduced a revolutionary upgrade to blockchain technology. He created Ethereum, the first blockchain designed not only to move value, but also to run programs. And with this innovation, the first real, fully functioning smart contracts came to life. These contracts could check conditions, execute actions automatically, enforce rules with mathematical precision, and remain transparent, permanent, and tamper-proof. For the first time in history, agreements could run on their own without waiting for human approval. Nick Szabo's original idea finally became a global reality. Imagine you donate money to a foundation to support a children's summer camp. The smart contract is created with two simple conditions. If the summer camp takes place, the money is released to the foundation. If the camp does not take place, the money is automatically refunded to you. Now imagine a real life situation, a flood, severe weather, or any unexpected event forces the foundation to cancel the camp. A normal system would require emails, administrators, approvals, and long waiting times. But a smart contract is different. It doesn't ask for permission. It doesn't wait for someone to decide. It doesn't guess what should happen. It simply follows the rule that was written into it from the start. Camp canceled, automatic refund. No delays, no arguments, no human intervention. This is the true power of a smart contract. The decision is made by code, not by people. As smart contracts became popular, many people misunderstood or misused the technology. Projects appeared with unrealistic promises, huge daily returns, unclear structures, and teams that disappeared overnight. This period became known as the Crypto Wild West. The problem wasn't the idea of smart contracts. It was the lack of rules and the flood of irresponsible projects built around them. As crypto grew, governments and financial authorities realized something important. Innovation needs protection. To remove scams and support real transparent systems, stronger rules were needed. In Europe, this became the new AMLA framework a set of regulations designed to make the digital world safer, clearer, and more secure for everyone. This does not change smart contracts themselves. It simply strengthens the environment around them. Smart contracts never change. 
Their rules stay exactly the same, but the world around them can change when new safety regulations appear. So the code keeps its promise, while the legal environment makes sure everything runs in a safer, more transparent way. It's not the contract that changes, only the protection around it. We are leaving the Wild West behind. The next chapter is about clarity, transparency, and long-term stability. Only systems built on real logic and honest structure will grow in this new environment. This is not a slowdown, this is maturity. A smart contract cannot be changed by human hands. Its rules stay exactly as written. That's where its strength comes from, but the world around it can evolve with new laws and protections designed to keep users safe. This is where technology and regulation finally meet in the middle, unchangeable code and an improving environment built to protect the people who use it. We are standing at the beginning of a global financial transformation, even if most people don't see it yet. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you understand smart contracts in a clearer and more human way, you're welcome to stay with me for future updates. New insights and explanations are coming, and I'd be glad to have you with me as we explore this new financial era together. If you'd like to learn more in simple, clear language, feel free to follow the channel.